good day to all welcome to shri krishna stories let's hear what today's story is about shri hari seva child yesoda and nandan who prayed a simple story to explain let's learn more one day yesoda held the child kannan on her lap as the baby was heavy she could not hold him on her lap for long She immediately put Kannan to the bed and was doing houseworks. Then sent by Kamsa another monster named Drunavantan came in the form of wind flying dust and making a great noise. He also took the child. The entire Gokulam was dark with the dust. In the darkness where nothing could be seen Yesoda lost sight of the child and cried her cries echoed everywhere on hearing yesoda's cry the shepherds came to nandagopan's house everyone started crying as they could not see the child at the same time dunavarta flew high in the sky carrying kannan on his shoulder then kannan increased his weight very much Unable to bear his burden, Drunavarta became slow. Kannan was as heavy as a mountain for him. The dust and noise stopped. Now the monster thought of leaving the child, but Kannan did not let him go. He gripped his neck tightly. The monster fell dead and fell on the earth. His body fell on a rock. Everyone who came crying saw the child who was laughing and playing on the top of the monster's body. The monster fell on a stone and died, but Kannan, the child, was playing and beating him with his lotus hands. Thus, he destroyed the monster that came in the form of a whirlwind. They took the child who looked like a blue gem on the mountain. Nandagopan and others were happy. Everyone hugged and kissed the baby. Sensing the gopi's intention to lift him, Kannan automatically jumped and played in their arms. Yesoda, Nandan and others said, "Shri Hari, save our child." They prayed. Also, they said to themselves, "We have done many merits in our previous birth." That's why the Lord is saving our child from danger. They thought that even after the monster took the child, they had got him without any danger, and they were amazed. Sarvam Shri Krishna Arpanam.